Hey everyone, Edgy Berserker here with the fantabulous start to Battle Arena Toshinden 3. This one is one of those ones where people like, it's not that great, but we had fun with it. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of like the unanimous thing on it, I find. But there's either people who hate it, people like, eh, it was a game, it happened, it was alright. Story. It seemed that the underworld tournament had fulfilled its purpose. But as the fight went on to their everyday lives, they so that's why we had to fight in the tournament? Shit. Enemies that hungered after their blood. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, I thought this intro was the coolest fucking shit ever. Because I didn't have any of the Saturn ones, so I didn't get any of the like fancy intros. And like, what do we get? Like, the uh, Toshinden 2 uh, live action thing? And number ones was just text crawl. So, like, what was the fun in that? And then we finally get, like, fully rendered CGI, which in retrospect, it's not very well animated. But, like, goddamn, look at this shit. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like, got to see some of the characters fully rendered. It was cool. And we have Ellis. And we also have the new character, David. He has a chainsaw. He's not afraid to use it. Oh shit. Surrounded by evil guys. <laughs> Makes me want to play a Toshin Den RPG. <laughs> I was throwing around the idea that, uh, <laughs> because I got RPG Maker working on my Mac, I'm throwing around the idea of maybe, you know, making a fan game of Toshin Den, but. We'll get into that later, because it all depends on hinges on me on being lazy or not, and laziness tends to win. That was Shizuku back there, by the way. But first, Vermillion's gonna kill Eiji, uh, execution style. But, but there's something in the background. What is it? It's... Sophia, in a very impractical outfit, complete with underboob! Go, Sophia! <laughs> Her outfits get ridiculous as <laughs> the, like, the series moves on. <laughs> Headbang! Uh, Kyan! Paying respects to his pap. He's now like, okay, who disturbed me? Oh god, this asshole. That's Schultz, by the way. It's an intense mustache. <laughs> Seeing some of the new characters. I like the that Kyan gets like kind of the most epic intro in this. Like, I got fucking Excalibur. What do you want, man? And I kick your ass, Schultz. Get super power charge up. It's awesome. And then Eiji shoehorns himself in there just to say, hey, I'm the main character. Anyways, Battle Arena Toshin Den 2. Let's start. I got my options set up. I haven't played this in ages. <laughs> I thought I was going to be like, oh, I'm going to do this all, like, uh, legit. So we got <laughs> legit as in, like, I'm going to practice that, but I didn't. <laughs> so, um, so we got, like, Chaos, Rungo, Duke, Gaia, Helis, Shizuku, Ayan, Eiji, Nagisa, he's new, David, Tracy, Sophia, Mundo, and Beihao. Who the fuck's Bay How? He's a fucking monkey. Takes Bo's place. We'll find out more later. How am I gonna start this though? Because I could start with the main characters, but that might actually. Uh... Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. We're starting with Eiji Shinjo. And I chose his wrong color, but he looks snarky there, so let's do it. Fighting 10 count? Who the fuck's 10 count? Let's find out. <laughs> See, we're gonna be fighting the uh, evil versions. Anyways, I'm fighting Michael Jackson. Or totally not Michael Jackson, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> this one has kind of like a more combo system. Which is kind of cool. This has walls, so there's no more of that fucking... Ah! Ring out bullshit. And, um, ah, shit, 10 count, baby. 
And the game is actually set to one round because the matches uh, last a long ass time. Oh yeah, um, I'm gonna put a warning at the beginning about the flashing lights and shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's how you use the soul bombs. And we get soul bombs, but I just wasted it. That's a circular thing down there. Bam. Nope. <laughs> Ten count, why? Ten count. Shit! <laughs> AJ, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, AJ? <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Okay, I'll figure this out. It's, it's been a long time and I've been like, oh, that did not much. Haha, <laughs> that blocked that though, at least. Okay. Ah, fuck. Day back. Day back, 10 count. No! Oh shit. <laughs> I uh, also changed it to the Japanese because the English voice acting is fucking awful. <laughs> and that's only for some characters too, I might add. Not like Asia's not dubbed, but Ten Count has like the worst fucking voice. And at the time, I think it's because it was mocking uh, MJ. But you know, that's not cool, man. That's not cool. <laughs> I know, it was like kind of like in the one of the times, like it's the thing of its time. Balga, we're fighting motherfucking Balga. Don't want to get into it. Let's just fight this guy. He's a Duke's evil counter. Dun dun dun. One thing about this game though that I, you know what, I never really noticed till I like was playing it again. The music in it's actually not that bad. Actually, it's decent music, it's just that. It was- the sound mixing in this isn't the greatest. Ah, I tried to trap him in the corner. Oh my god, he can get through that. Well, okay, you bitch. Here. Get the wall hit. Yas. Ah, thought I could get him. But they fixed the balancing issue in this, in my humble opinion. Hence why it's more fun to play. <laughs> Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit of flashbacks on how to play this damn game. <laughs> awesome. Oh, roundhouse kick to the face! I love it. He just said I kicked your ass. No, he didn't. I don't know what he said. <laughs> Kuling. That's who's next. That is the Minky Bayhouse. Alter ego character fight thing. And you can see she's like foe. <laughs> well, we'll find out what happens to foe later. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Blammo! If I get this to pull off correctly, I think I could be a dick. Ah, sort of. <laughs> Let's try this. If you get it to the wall, you can actually bounce them off quite a bit. <laughs> Five hit combo. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting really into this. <laughs> it's been a while and I fucking love Toshin Den 3. <laughs> it's fun for me. Hi, Mr. Bond. <laughs> Yeah, I bought a moon chair, and uh, my cats have decided, no, this is not your chair, this is our bed now. So now I got, like, basically a uh, overly expensive cat bed. <laughs> I know. Cat owner life, man. Ugh. I even have this set on normal mode, too. I didn't even put it on the easiest setting. Because, you know what? Fuck it, I want to challenge. It's Toshin then, motherfucking. Three. And Tojin here is uh, Mundo's uh, counterpart, if you couldn't tell. And for some reason, I thought I could throw uh, Street Fighter 5 style. Go, Edgy! <laughs> Interestingly enough, this game also had a version, like, not a version, but an option called 60 frames per second mode, where, like, it runs much smoother and, like, uh,. Not as like uh, slower, like when you play it. 
but then you lose like all the background details and even character details and shit. But like it looks great animated, but for the sake of this let's play, we're gonna have the uh, nice backgrounds there. And all the textures and whatnot. <laughs> I'm not sure people can be, be like, Toshin Gen 3 really downgraded. The animation looks great though. <laughs> it's Rachel. Rachel is Tracy's counterpart. Ah, the introductions where I have to talk about all this stuff right away. <laughs> I don't even remember how to get some of the secret characters, but I'll figure that out as I go. Try to decipher my Japanese strategy guide, which has been actually the most helpful thing ever. <laughs> I'll post up an image of it here. If you follow me on Tumblr, you know about my Toshin Den Tuesdays and Ah! Fuck me! <laughs> Tracy countered me. And that's not Tracy, that's Rachel. <laughs> Ugh. And I tried to dodge attack in style. My god. <laughs> Ah! Rachel, you're kicking my ass. Here. Eat a soul bomb. Ugh, delicious. I thought it was. Got her! Ah! The background behind the wall there reminds me of Paul's stage in Tekken 2. <laughs> Fun fact. Jason Voorhees? That's ah, just David's counterpart. <laughs> yeah, we're basically fighting a chainsaw wielding uh, burn victim. We're wearing a lot of yellows and blues. And we're fighting at the uh, clock tower in England. Because David's British. Fun fact. Believe me, the irony for me and any friends that know me. <laughs> Just studying on this one. Uh, fuck. Ah, fuck. Got him. Eat shit. <laughs> God, I'm having so much fun with this. This is like my favorite Toshin, then I think. Yeah, I think it's safe to say. Oh, fuck. I think it's safe to say that this one for me is like definitely one of my favorite Toshindans. Just to have so much fun with it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no, 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 no. You eat this projectile and you enjoy it. Okay, going in. Yas! <laughs> I don't know, the lighting effects in it are good. Um, you know, the, even like, though the graphics have taken a downgrade from Toshinden uh, 2. I just, I don't know, I like it. <laughs> I'm being positive about this review. Miss Till! She's Shizuku's counterpart, but she's also one of my favorites in this one. <laughs> I don't know, I found Shizuku a little clun clunky to play, but Miss Till had a better feel to her. Even though they basically play the same, but... Whatever. <laughs> Fun fact, for some weird reason, I ship uh, Miss Till and Vermilion together. <laughs> uh, let's not speak of this, but yeah, I, man, you guys are learning about my ships, aren't you? <laughs> Sub Zero and Smoke Forever. <laughs> you know what? Vermillion and Miss Till Forever, too. <laughs> ah! She can counter me! We'll learn more about these new characters, though, when we uh, clear it with them, but I gotta earn each one. Oh yes, the wall bounce, that's what I was looking for. Delicious. Go on! AJ! AJ! Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Now, you see what I mean though? The matches do last a lot longer because there is a bit more of a balance, finally. It's nice. <laughs> You tell her, AJ. <laughs> I feel like I'm coming down with a cold again. Oh my god. I blame this fucking weather. <laughs> this is why getting warm and then freezing fucking cold and then motherfucking blizzards and then it's melting again. Ja! Ah, fucking hate it. Anyways, here's Schultz. He's Chaos's counterpart who's fast as 
fuck. I don't know if you'll see it here. I'll try to back up to see if he'll do the zoom towards me. See what I mean? <laughs> That's just his normal walking forward. Like his dash, it's insane. You can back away quickly too, as you can see. Got him! Oh, <laughs> the wall bounce! I love it! Oh, that's oh, that's how you do the throw. Okay. Gotcha, BB. Kind of wish I got you against the wall, but whatever. You're a speedy demon bastard. Oh shit. Got him. <laughs> Just step on his head, Aj. Do it. Do it. You know you want it. Him and his dumb, stupid mustache. <clears throat> Delicious. You know, in the uh, CGI opening, he kind of reminds me of like uh, characters from Lazy Town Schultz. <laughs> I, I maybe yeah, I think Sporticus, the guy with the mustache and shit. Anyways, we're fighting at 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 Aua at Ahua. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, we're fighting this guy. Uh, he's kind of a racial stereotype. <laughs> By kind of, I mean he is. He's originally from Peru. I know this from my uh, st wonderful strategy guide. <laughs> but sometimes I feel like I might be the only person in North America that owns that damn thing. Ah! And you can tell he's Ellis's uh, counterpart. <laughs> counterpart. Uh, counterpart. <laughs> Hit him, hit him, hit him! Ah, AJ. What did show teach you? Not that. No! 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 I will not lose. I'm indestructible. <laughs> yeah, well, we got that, you know, racial stereotype. Oh, the 90s. <laughs> And I think we have, yep, another one! Hey, He is from Brazil, I believe, and he is Gaia's counterpart. Ironic how they had Ellis and Gaia and then her, you know what I mean. I feel like he's wearing assless chaps. Which, you know, that's actually kind of amazing if he is. <laughs> this is Tau. I don't really know how to pronounce his name because uh, I used to watch. Uh, this is the same with um, Final Fantasy VI with the uh, Wild Boy and Gal. I only know how to pronounce those names properly because I watched the anime Shadow Skill, and uh, the main character's name is Gal. <laughs> I was like, yes, I know how to pronounce his name now. <laughs> gotcha. Enjoy the wall bouncing. Oh. Uh, I gotta just get one more hit. Let's do it cheaply. Possible. Yeah, at the beginning of every video, I think I'll do a uh, warning about the flashing lights. Because I really, really, really don't want to get people with the photosynth. Like the. Uh, I don't even know the technical term. The photosensitive. I'm fighting Catwoman. <laughs> Where, like, it could trigger, like, a uh, seizure or something. I don't want to do that to people. So I'll put a warning, because this one, this game is pretty notorious for the flashing lights. <laughs> Anyways, as you can tell, Zola is the counterpart to Sophia. And... I don't know if they mentioned it in her ending, so I'll, I'll save this little fun fact for later. Of course, if you read my Tumblr, you already know the fun fact, but I can't remember if it's in her ending or not. But I'll save it for later. That's for a later time. We got a lot of characters to go through. Why should I use all the fun facts now on Aishi's episode? Just because he's a main character? No, we're playing him first, so he's gonna be last. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Crazy Catwoman. Ow. Oh. Got her. <laughs> you tell him, Meiji. Load times are a little long on this one, too, but it's not too terrible. 
Adam, he is uh, Rungo's counterpart. He is a fucking robot. Let's defeat him as fast as possible. Ready. Uh, don't trust no robots, and you know it. Actually, this guy has probably the most cheapest overdrive move. Could be the soul bomb, too, I don't remember, but it takes a lot of fucking energy. But he's also slow as fuck, so I guess it kind of makes it... Ow. <laughs> I guess it makes it kind of even. But I will say, like, the, you know, the uh, combos are actually quite uh, good to pull off. Everything feels good. Um, if you noticed above Adam's uh, name there, there's like, uh, ow, uh, <laughs> there's some, uh, bullets there. It's because, oh, that's the move I was talking about, his overdrive move. Told you, cheap as fuck. Look how much that put me down. Oh shit, this might be my first loss. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> BB! Robots in disguise. Okay, let's fight him again. Notice that these episodes are gonna be actually kind of lengthy because I'm doing long play. But you know what? I'm okay with because I fucking love this game. Hope you guys enjoy my playthrough of this as much as I'm gonna enjoy playing it. Oh my god, I did a fancy combo. No, you don't. You do not do that move at all, BB. I will not allow you to do that move. I will do this to you instead. Trap you in the corner and be a cheap asshole just like you were to me. Yes. <laughs> you destroy that robot, AJ. You destroy it. Good. Vermillion, he is the sub boss. I'm putting that in air quotes. Because uh, he's always the one that's uh, almost Ready. close to last before we get to boss territory. Or if you're playing the villains, it's Nagisa, who is uh, Verm's count. Well, Nagisa's counterpart is Vermillion, but. Because, you know, good guys, bad guys. Whatever. The point is, though, Vermillion's not as cheap this time around because he actually has limited ammo. And you have to reload. His shotgun only has two hits, and his revolver has two, four, six. But I actually learned how to play him quite well. <laughs> but in a sense, it kind of sped him up a little bit, just to give him a bit of a fair chance. Only to ruin it when Toshin then Super comes out because then he's a cheap ass motherfucker with a rocket launcher. But that's another video for another time. <laughs> uh. I also love this theme music. It's so badass. Bye, Vermillion. Got him too. Who's next? Forget who's next. I think it's show I don't remember. <laughs> it's been forever. But the funness of oh yeah, that's right. Aishi's boss. It will be his counterpart. Which counterpart? Counterpart. Eh, I'm recording this late at night again. Can you tell? It's Leon. I believe he's a pirate. <laughs> so let's get him. <laughs> funny because Leon's uh, character art has him giving you the finger. <laughs> so edgy, Leon. So edgy. But I'm edgy. I'm <laughs> bad joke. <laughs> yes. I'm just gonna trap you in the corner and end this quick. Sir. Ow. It's like he has like the ice version of uh, Aishi's moves. Ow. Of course I also hear him saying cabaret whenever he does the uppercut. Batch. Come on. Oh, you can do that? <laughs> That's cheap. <laughs> Beat your ass, Leon. Leon! Oh yes, Sho is now a sub-boss as well. He's not a secret character anymore. Meow, meow, meow! I know, dramatic, right? 
Joe's like one of my faves in this one too, because he plays really nice in it. Come on. Ah, fuck. Sorry, brother. But I must fight you. Oh yeah, I should actually show. I don't know if it's going to look good though, but uh, I'm going to squander it. You can use the soul bombs in the air too. So uh, yeah, you got that counter as well. Ah shit, I squandered that. Ow! Yeah, Shogat's the better one because it moves. Ow! Yeah. That one gets you in a corner. It's cheap as fuck. <laughs> gotcha, show Bibi. No, I can't kick him on his own. That's too bad. <laughs> oh, roundhouse kick to the face, too. Nice! <laughs> Goodbye, brother. Now we're on to the boss, Abel. Yes. <laughs> then from there, I think we finally get the ending. So these are gonna be long ass episodes, but you know, whatever. Ow. Abel's a cheap ass motherfucker. Ow, ow. Remember how he fights. Now I talk about April, not Asia. I kind of figured out how to play him. Funny enough, though, I prefer to play Leon over Asia. <laughs> Fun fact. Ooh, yes. Good. Shit! Shit! Do not like that move. No! 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 Okay. That was a nice combo. <laughs> and what's just trap against the wall? Because I'm cheap like that. I think I did it. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting any surprises thrown my way this time. Yet. We'll get to that. <laughs> okay, and... Oh, we got the ending. Let's see if I mess this up. <laughs> <clears throat> no matter who he fought, Eiji was overshadowed by the reputation of his brother Sho. Now that he has gained victory in the Toshin Dai Toshin whatever, the Toshin Den tournament, he realizes that he is the only person he has to compete against is himself. Eiji's companions also managed to survive the fierce battle in which Eiji thwarted the evil plot of the organization. Eiji learned a valuable lesson during these great battles. Oh, I was right wrong. That was one fights not only for oneself, but for others as well. He cannot express this understanding in words, but he feels it deeply in his heart. Eiji's journey has only just begun. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah. <laughs> I just made my cat jump. <laughs> but yeah, that was Battle Arena Toshin Den 3. First episode, Eiji Shinjo. Went on a little while, but it's the first one. Notice how it says Toshin Den 3, the final battle. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that, this one, I guess, is supposed to be the final in the whole organization thing. But I'm making the credits speed up for a reason. We're just gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, find out some things. Well, not really find out things. <laughs> I just wanted to name select. But, uh, one of my Tumblr buddies found out that there is actually a list of band names and ass is one of them. So I'm gonna see if butt is okay. Says, you know what? Butt. <laughs> yeah! Butt. <laughs> Good job, AG. You butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mature adult, I swear. Now, I'm not gonna play again until next episode, but you notice, look, Leon's selectable. 
So we're gonna be earning every counterpart there is. And then more! And even more! And even more! So, until the next episode of Battle Arena Toshinden 3, I'll see y'all later. Bye now!